Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how to design a full advanced product page in Shopify, including how to add different sections to your product page so that you can turn it into a sales page for your product. I'll be showing you ways that you can list your different product details on your product page along with your product dimensions and weight. And I'll also show you how to feature an email signup and how to list your shipping and packaging details for your item. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. To get started, you're going to want to open Shopify, then open your themes page. Next, you can go in to customize your currently published theme. First off, I'll be showing you how to add a product to your Shopify store and how to lay out your base product page so that you can get an idea of how you would like to list your product details on your product page. Here in your website, you'll want to click where it says home page, then click products and then it create template. You're gonna to wanna to title the page template, a short version of your product title, then click create template. Then here on Shopify, you're gonna click products. And this is where you'll be able to add a new product to your store. And you'll be able to fill out the product details page where you can add your title, description, your product price, and more information. Here I'm adding the product title and I'm gonna add a mini description for the product. Here I'm just adding an overview description for the skincare product. Then you can upload any pictures and videos that you have of your product. You can also choose the category niche for your item. Then I've added the product price. You can also choose to insert the compare at price. And you can also insert the cost per item, which can help to tally the profit and margin. And next under inventory is where you can type in the amount of inventory you have for your product. And you can also list the shipping weight for your item. You have additional editing options for your product, including adding variants, like different sizes and color options for your item. Then you can adjust your product meta fields as well as the listing appearance on search engines. You wanna be sure that your product status is set to active. This way it will appear in your online store. Then you can insert your product organization details, including your product type. You can list yourself as a vendor or list the vendor of your item. And you can also select which collections you would like to add this product to. I've just added the example tags for this item. You wanna add tags for your product. This way when customers are searching for a specific product in your online store, then the specific products will be recommended to them based on their search terms, matching the tags that you put in for your specific products. Then under theme template, you want to be sure to apply that new page template that I showed you how to create. I'm gonna click save to save this item. Then you're gonna open your website. And here on my homepage, I've added a featured collection. You can add this type of section to feature a specific collection of products that you would like to display. And here is currently my product page. You'll see here there is a product information box. Then right below that, there is a related products box. Next, I'll be showing you how to give your product page a more advanced style and layout and how to add different sections to your product page like an email signup and packaging details section. And I'll be covering how to help your product page tie in and match with the rest of your website's color scheme and website design style. Also, if you guys like the layout and style of this website you see here, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of different Shopify theme templates designed for different types of businesses. These can help you to build your website and have a professional look and layout to display your products, services, and more without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. In case you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, the Shopify theme will arrive in a zip file format. And when you open Shopify, then click add theme, then upload a zip file. You'll have the option to upload that website theme straight into your store and you can publish it and begin editing it and adding your products. And my Shopify templates are template bundles. So they do include installation guides with instructions and screenshots to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. 
and have a wide variety of Shopify themes designed for beauty, makeup, and skincare businesses, clothing and accessory businesses, and I also have Shopify themes for dropshipping stores and coaching businesses. Most of my Shopify template bundles also include additional templates like web banner templates, logo templates, and more. If you're looking to save the time from having to design and lay out your website from scratch, you can grab one of my Shopify themes from my website, which I will link in the description box below. You're gonna to wanna to be sure that your product page ties in with the style of the rest of your website. For my site, I've done a minimal white, gray, and black color scheme with the primary color of the site being white and gray tones. Then I've done black text and elements. When you click on the sections on your product page, you may have the options to adjust the color schemes. And you wanna be sure to choose color schemes that tie in with the rest of your website. All right, next I'll be showing you how to customize your product page. When you click on your product information box, you'll have a few different editing options for this section, including you'll have the option to adjust the display of your product media. Next to desktop layout, you can adjust the display of your product pictures. I've selected thumbnail carousel. Here's also an example of how the page may appear for a mobile view. I'll be showing you how to add a section to list off your different product details and ingredients or materials. In between sections, you're gonna to wanna to click add section and I'll be inserting a multi-column. You can choose to retitle the heading text if you would like. I've titled this benefits and ingredients. And you can also adjust the heading size if you would like. You can also adjust the appearance of the columns. So you can choose to show more columns on desktop and you wanna be sure to click on a column and duplicate it to fill that space. I'll just be showing three columns and you can edit the column alignment. You can remove this column background if you need. Then I'll be removing this button label. When you click on a column, under heading is where you can title this. So you can title it the category of details you'll be listing about the products, or you can title it details, materials, or ingredients. You wanna add different touch points to highlight the qualities and selling points for your product. Under description is where you can insert your official product details and sales text. And once you're done, that's how to list a few of your product details in an organized way on your product page. Here's how this section appears on mobile. Next, I'll be showing you a sales text section that you can add to your page to describe what type of customer your product is designed for. In between sections, you'll want to click add section and I'll be inserting an image with text. You'll be able to upload a product image for this section. And you can also adjust the image height and the desktop image width.
Then I'll be removing the button label and I'll also be retitling the heading text. For the description text, this is a great place to describe what problem your product solves. Also, when you select the text, you can choose to increase the size of the text, and you can choose to put the text in bold, italic, you can insert a link leading to another page within your store, and you can also insert bullet lists and numbered lists. Here's an example of how the mobile layout looks. Also, if in general you're not too familiar with the use of Shopify, I do have an in-depth Shopify basics guide that has a wide range of sections teaching how to use Shopify, how to set up Shopify payments, how to read your analytics page, launching products, and also how to launch your store. In this guide, I've included video tutorials, written text explainers, and screenshots to help you navigate Shopify and understand each section of the guide, and I will link that in my description box below. Next, I'll be showing you how to add an email signup and a packaging details section to your product page. In between sections, I'll be inserting an email signup. I've applied a slightly different color scheme to this section, and you can also adjust if you would like to make the section full width or not. You can also retitle the heading text. Then you can also adjust the size for the heading text. You can also adjust the description text if you need. And that's how you can add an email sign up. Then last, I'll be showing you how to add a section to list the different shipping and packaging details for your product. I'm gonna click add section and I'll be inserting a rich text. You can adjust the position for the desktop content position and also the content alignment. And you can also adjust the color scheme for this section and you can choose if you would like to make it full width or not. I'm gonna click on this heading text. You can also adjust your heading text and increase or reduce the size of the text. For the description text, you can add bullet list or numbered list to insert the different packaging and shipping details for your item. Then you can select your description text and you can increase the size of the text. You can also put the text in bold, italic, and you can insert a link leading to another page within your store. I'm gonna click on this button label. And you can link the button label to your store's full shipping policies page where customers can get more shipping information. And that's a way that you can add a minimal section to your product page to list off your different shipping and packaging details. And once you're done, that is a minimal way that you can design your product page on Shopify and how you can add more sections to your product page to help display the details for your item. And here's an example of the appearance for a mobile view. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the section and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles. So they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. 
Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.